So we're going to let you know how to open up the Xbox 360 uh, fat version. There are plenty of clips on YouTube. If anything is unclear, um, you might want to watch another video. That might be easier. First thing you need to do, oh sorry, the, the tools we're going to use today are just these ones here, which are the normal fat opening tool. Uh, that piece there, and that's just a uh, T8 uh, little screwdriver. And what might also come in handy is something like a butter knife, but we'll, we'll see if we need to use that later on. So the first thing you need to do is take off the hard drive. So you push that button down, lift up the hard drive. Second bit is taking off the face plate. All you need to do, this flap's broken on mine, but all you need to do is, is stick your finger in and rip like that. Um, really easy to do. It, it, it seems like the first time you do it, you're putting too much pressure, but uh, you're not going to break anything. Okay, so the next bit is the top bit here. Um, you can't see any screws, so it's all clip based. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first one's clipping in around here, so you can't poke the clip away. So you have to apply pressure at the top here, use your thumb as the anchor, and slide this tool in like this until it, the clip pops out. It might take you a couple of posts to get it. Uh, so that's one side and then the other. The other ones are nice and easy. If you shine it through, uh, if you have a lamp and you shine through, you can actually see very easily the, uh, you have the tabs. With one. So I can't see very well. Two. This one is just underneath this little tab here. So you just need to clip it like that. And the last one. It's off. Now the bottom, same thing, but all the tabs you can easily see. Some of them just pop out like that. You're always just kind of moving the pressure along so that it, it has a just pops out as soon as you uh, apply the pressure. Now here's the fun part. We've got one, two, three, four, five little grooves in here, and then two on this side. And that's what these five sets of uh, prongs here are for, uh, and then two over here. So, what we need to do is stick the five in like this, and while you're, while you're gripping the Xbox like this, pulling it apart, you just press down. again. And it should open like that. Now it has a tendency to want to rip back so it might be some people like to, to kind of leave something you know, there like that so it doesn't join back up together or you can just, just leave your, uh, your arm there. And then you've got the other side that has two prongs. Press and that's it. Some of the really old Xenon, Xenon models are really hard to grip apart. You might crack this little bit of plastic when you open it up if you apply a bit too much force or it's sticky. Don't stress that, it's just the case. Everything will click back, uh, back together fine. The last bit here, it is four clips. One, two, three, four. Now, uh, usually there's a warranty sticker here or here. You'll have to, to grip that uh, to open up the 360. Best way probably to do it is to start from the start use the uh, the underside of this and just kind of dig a groove in there and then twist and then push at the same time. That's one clip. The next one you can try and dig that in and flick it up. If you have the butter knife you can maybe, uh, or something kind of sharp but, but still um, strong, slide that in there uh, to lift it up. Um, so you have to kind of keep on applying pressure to open. Uh, the next one Probably the hardest one. Got that one there, and then the last one. Ta -da. So that's all the clip based stuff, and then the rest are just uh, just when it turns to the screws. So uh, you've got six screws. There's a lot of screws in here, but there's only six you need to open. It's a noob mistake to open uh, to turn every single one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what comes with, with most opening tools. If you have a T8 drill bit and a drill, 
uh, and just put on the lowest pressure and, and, and do that because it does take a while to do it like this. Um, but just, you can either do it like this uh, or the long way, but I guess it's, these aren't very hard to turn, so once you get into acceptable speed, they, you know, they just come out. So they're all long screws, they're all the same length, so if you pull out one that's really small, just put it back in because you've, you've taken out the wrong one. You might want to keep these screws in a, in a jar or a bowl or somewhere you're not going to lose them because a lot of people put them on a, you know, a really messy desk and by the time they're finished, um, all the screws are missing. Done. So, turn it around, and what you're going to do is pop this um, eject thing out a little bit, and then just lift up. If you don't do that, it tries to take off the eject uh, button as well. So, there's inside the, uh, the Fat Xbox, and you've got um, a, little, uh, a little silver kind of sticker here that, that keeps the drive in place. Um, if you want, you can either just cut it like that with like a little exacto knife, or you can uh, gently kind of um, peel it off like that. Uh, so the next thing you do is lift up the DVD drive. On the last bit, you lift uh, this bit up here, and then take the tray out nice and gently. It's stuck on here with two. Uh, cables, the power and the data. So you just kind of pinch the cable out and then pull this out usually with three fingers and that's it.